A woman behind a chilling axe attack at Enmore in Sydney could be out of jail in just two and a half years. A judge today accepting Evie Amati was struggling as she transitioned from male to female. Evie Amati doesn't remember walking into a 7-Eleven with a two kilogram axe that her victims will never be able to forget. The risk of death was high in each of the cases and the fact that death did not occur was entirely a matter of good fortune. Ben Rimmer says in that moment he feared he would never see his pregnant wife again or meet his son. Today he shook his head as a 26-year-old who forever altered his appearance and life was jailed for at least four and a half years, almost half of which she has already served. Sharon Hacker chose to spend the day with her family, but in a statement to Nine News said, I hope she uses her time well, as there are opportunities in prison. I wish us all to live our life as best we can. This is the first thing Evie Amati remembers about the day she attacked three people with an axe, waking up in hospital. Her actions that night were captured on CCTV, but Amati claims she remembers none of it. She says it wasn't until she saw a news report five or six days later that she learned what she'd done. They were innocent, they did nothing to deserve what happened, and all I wanted to do immediately was issue an apology, she said. Now, after 18 months in prison, we're hearing her side of the story. She told her district court trial that before the attack, she'd taken drugs and later started hearing voices. I started seeing some of the violent visions that I'd seen previously of me running at police with the axe and being shot dead. She said she went home, smoked cannabis and listened to her favourite song called Flatline. Amati said the song spoke to her feelings of always being judged and labelled. She cried as her barrister read out lines from the chorus. Then she told the court that after listening to the song, she only had one more memory. That voice that had been telling me to kill, maim and inflict pain on people and start the rise of hell on earth. I recall everything going quiet and feeling that voice come inside me and a sinister smile that I can't control. And then I black out. She said she'd fallen into a depressive state after thinking a date had rejected her for being transgender. But a New South Wales District Court jury dismissed that, finding her guilty of two counts of wounding with intent to murder for the attacks on Ben Rimmer and Sharon Hacker and an attack on a third victim off camera. I feel like the laws are here to protect people and it was judged by the people. And so because of that, it was the right decision. Are you able to confirm or deny that it was in fact you who committed this offence? I respectfully decline to answer that question. The court heard at that time Amati was still transitioning from male to female following surgery in Thailand. The judge said Amati went on that rampage because she felt rejected by a woman she had met on Tinder and was disinhibited by the drugs, alcohol and medication she had taken. But he also found her mental illness played a role. He also accepted Amati no longer hears the voices telling her to inflict pain. She blew kisses towards her family as she was led away. We're not going to get into that now.